You wake up from a dream. One of those dreams that feels really real. There were characters, versions of people you know, some you don't recognize. You remember name brands, music, feelings. Maybe you felt great grief or love or joy, but now you're awake. You get out of bed, brush your teeth, then notice your home looks different. You wake up again. That was weird. That felt really real. You struggle out of bed once more and look around your room with skepticism. Something is off. You feel weird. It feels almost as if you're... You wake up again. This time for real. At least, you're pretty sure. Slowly, those feelings of confusion begin to fade. You remember who you really are. That was just a dream. In a dream. In a dream. Obviously. It was all a mental simulation. Somehow your mind created these nested universes, for some purpose still only pontificated upon by the world of physical science. How strange. How novel. Maybe fun or disgusting, ugly, gorgeous, but it's over now. So into the bank it goes. You fold it into the collection of dreams you have been accumulating your whole life. At least, the ones you remember. If you're into it, maybe you write them down. If you're not, you probably don't remember them much at all. Still, you undeniably lived them, and still, they changed you. These are experiences you had, pal, permanently folded into your personality. What you do with these experiences now is up to you. Are they lessons worth learning? Were they creative gifts? Either way, it's time to be awake now, to go about your life in the world of flesh, the world of friction, tension, and change. Maybe today you will feel love, or grief, or joy. Perhaps you will be happy or disturbed. Perhaps your day will be boring as hell, confusing, or just sort of novel. But you will wake up again someday, and this dream will be sorted into your collection. Maybe you'll reflect on it. Maybe you'll just fall right back asleep, but you will awake. And you will sleep again. It's what we do. And as above, so below. You are the dreamer, dreaming a dream, while sleeping. All the way down, all the way up. The universe we know is mental in its very nature. Just as you splinter into multitudes at night, experiencing new perspectives, people, settings, and emotions, you've done so before on the layer above. That dreamer is dreaming you, and to the same extent, everyone you know. The singular mother God does not exist here with us because she's asleep, dreaming infinite dreamers, still, fractured in infinity. To get closer, to peel back the petals of paradise means to wake up again and again, to kill your ego, to lose yourself with purpose until there is nothing of you left, to awake, reflect on the dream, assimilate your multitudes, the worlds and cast of characters which you created to learn the lesson of love, compassion, gratitude, and to grasp the oneness of self. But there's no rush. We dream for a reason, after all. We dream those lessons, conflicts, fears. We dream challenges, big and small. We dream helpers. We dream enemies. We dream friends and foes. We dream journeys and stories and connections and, and burnt bridges. We dream so that we may better live, yet we live that we might dream again. Each break of consciousness, be it sleep or death, is just that. It's a break, a brief pause in an endless cycle born from the mind of the infinite. You are exactly where you are meant to be, asleep or awake, loved in the arms of the infinite mental universe. That which is the fundamental truth, the substantial reality, is beyond true naming. 
that the wise call it the all. The all is mind. The universe is mental. <laughs>